So this is a new circuit table, but in this case, this is for a parallel circuit. And you may notice that my purple bar has changed from current, in series circuit, to voltage in uh, parallel circuits. And the reason is, is because voltage down each branch of a parallel is exactly equal. So this purple indicates that all of these numbers are exactly the same again. Well, let's see if we can apply the same ideas in, uh, to solve this schematic. Well, what information can we extract from the schematic? First, one resistor with three ohms. And so right there is resistor number one with three ohms. The second resistor has five ohms. The second one is five. Now wait a minute. Do I need column number three and number four? No. no. Why not? Because you only have two. I only have two components in my circuit, so I can cross these out if I need to. Is that the only information that I can extract from the circuit diagram? You have voltage. What is the voltage? Well, there's one battery at 1.5 oh, and a second three. battery, yeah, 3 volts. And that can be my total. But wait a minute. Because it's in the purple uh, purple oh, row, three. I can talk about this is 3 volts and this is 3 volts. At this point, I kind of have a decision to make. I could talk, I could calculate this way by using this formula, or I could calculate this way by using V equals IR. Personally, I think using Ohm's law is a little bit simpler. So I could take V equals IR at resistor 1 in order to calculate what the current is. So what is voltage? 3 equals what's current? We don't know. But I do know what resistance is, so in order to get current all by itself, I'll divide both sides by 3 to give me wow. 1 amp. Can I solve for this current? Yeah. yeah. So I know what voltage is, it's 3. I don't know what current is, but I do know that my resistance is 5. To get current all by itself, I'll divide both sides by 5. And I find that current equals... Now, if I know the current down branch 1, and I know the current down branch 2, is there any way that I can figure out the equivalent current? Yeah. Because I know that... 1.6. Because you add them. Yep, you add them all up. So that equals 1 plus 0 0.6, and that gets 1.6. Given I know these things, I can figure out the resistance equivalent because 3 equals, I know the current is 1.6 times the resistance. I divide both sides by 1.6 and I get a resistance of 1.88. 1.88. Now, there's a way that I can check, and that involves using these rules again. And so, 1 over REQ, that is, I technically I know REQ is 1.88, but let's see if I can get that number by using a different means. Equals 1 over, what is the resistance at component number 1? Three. 3. Plus 1 over, what is the resistance at component number 2? 5. Now, Mr. Fay does not particularly like adding and subtracting fractions, so I can turn them into decimals. And one third is zero point three 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 three, and one divided by five is zero point two. If I add those two up, I get a number zero point five three three three, and technically that is the equals the inverse of R E Q. In order to get E Q in the numerator in the top, I can flip it or take the inverse of this number. In order to do that, I'd go 1 divided by 0 0.5333, and that gives me an REQ equal to 1.88. And so therefore, it checks.
Another name for circuit tables is RVIP tables, uh, RVIP tables, or you can call them Viper tables. It really doesn't matter. But uh, there's one more characteristic that we have not talked about yet, and this is the power. And uh, I don't include it for a reason, because just by looking at the circuit uh, diagram, you cannot figure out what power is. But now that we have this information, we can figure out what power for each one of these components is and the units is in watts. Now, and so I could add a whole nother row based on what the power is. It relies that I know what the formula for power is. Power equals current times voltage. Current times voltage. And so in order to figure out the power equivalent for all of them, I'm going to take the current, 1.6, multiply by 3, and for uh, the power equivalent, I get 4.8 .8 watts. For power at uh, branch number 1, I'm going to take voltage, multiply it by current, so the power is 3. And for the power at branch number 2, I'm going to take voltage, multiply it by current, 1.8. 1.8. Now for all my clever students out there, do you see a pattern here? Could we write a mathematical formula for how to calculate power? Power total equals power one plus power two. Do you think it continues on and on and on? Yeah. Dot dot dot. <laughs>